What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, tonight we have a very interesting fight. And here goes my final fight prediction. As we have Carlos Adamas taking on former unified junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Julian J. Rock Williams. Carlos Adamas is working his way to being a star. Uh, he's a Cuban born fighter. Uh, he has a record of uh, 22 wins, one loss, no draw, 17 wins by way of knockout. Uh, 29 years of age, 5 foot 11 with a 73 inch arm. He's a southpaw. He comes from that Cuban school of boxing, right? Uh, and this is to be the mandatory challenger for three time junior middleweight world champion, now undisputed junior middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, top five pound for pound best fighters in the world, and Jamel Ironman Charlo, who is 35 wins, one loss, one draw. 19 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, five foot 11 and a half with a 73 and a half inch arm reach. With that said, Julian J. Rock Williams was formerly the unified junior middleweight world champion when he shocked the world. Uh, Julian J. Rock Williams is 28 wins, three losses, one draw, uh, 16 wins by way of knockout. Twice in his career, he was knocked out. He is 33 years of age, five foot 10 with a 72 and a half inch arm reach. Slick uh, boxer has power, high ring IQ, tough boxer. Uh, Julian J. Rock Williams is from Philadelphia. Now, J. Rock, he lost to uh, Jason Rosario, immediately defending his titles after shocking the world. He shocked the world against uh, Swift Jarrett Hurd back in uh, May of 2019, defeating Jarrett Hurd in a homecoming fight. He won, okay, uh, unanimous decision. Then he defended his titles in his hometown of Philadelphia against Jason Banana Rosario, and he lost. He got knocked out by Jason Rosario. Then he came back, he fought Vladimir Hernandez, and he lost a split decision of Vladimir Hernandez. Most recently, he fought against Mancilla, and he won a unanimous decision. Now he's gonna fight Carl Sadamas. Uh, and this is an interesting fight. Carlos Adamas worked his way back. He has one loss to Patrick Teixeira. Uh, Patrick Teixeira was the WBO champion. Then he got knocked out and lost to um, Brian Castano and then Jamel Chalo beat Brian Castano for undisputed. Okay, so with that said, interesting fight this is. But I'm going with Carlos Adamas to win this fight. And I feel like Carlos Adamas is going to win a seventh round knockout or eighth round knockout victory over Julian J. Rock Williams. And my reason for saying this is this. Julian J. Rock Williams' punch resistance, I don't think is there anymore. After getting knocked out by um, Jason Rosario, he was already previously knocked out in his first title opportunity when he faced the unified uh, um, junior middleweight world champion, superstar Basa, now undefeated two division world champion and the reigning WBC undefeated middleweight world champion in Jamal Lions only Charlo, who is 32 wins, no losses, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout, six feet tall with a 74 inch armage at 33 years of age, the identical twin brother of Jamal Charlo. That's Jamal Charlo's last fight at 154. Uh, Jamal Charlo, that was back in um, 2016, and he knocked Julian J. Rock Williams out with a beautiful catch and shoot counter, right? He was knocked out in that fight. And everybody chalked it up as, you know, just Jamal Charlo does what he does. But then he gets knocked out by Jason Rosario, and we've seen him hurt badly by other fighters. And so, Carlos Adam is, is very, very hungry. He has power. He's very um, crafty. Come from that Cuban school of boxing. And I think in this fight, he's gonna hit and hurt Julian J. Rock Williams. And I think he's gonna get a seventh round or eighth round knockout victory over Julian J. Rock Williams, right? And uh, 
Jamel Charlo has another mandatory that he has to settle. And that's his WBO mandatory challenger and um, undefeated uh, Australian superstar boxer, the son of a legend. And he has to face off against Tim Zoo. Okay, that's going to be Jamel Charlo's next fight. And it looks like they are forcing that fight to take place um, by September. Tim Zhu, you know, is undefeated. He's the son of the legend Costa Zhu. And uh, Tim Zhu, Jamel Charlo and Tim Zhu were scheduled for March, but uh, Jamel Charlo broke his hand, his right hand, had to be pulled from the fight. And since then, Tim Zhu, who is now 23 wins, no loss, no draw, 17 wins by way of knockout. Uh, he is uh, 28 years of age, five foot eight and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. He took on two fighters uh, since Jamel Charlo got injured. He took on Tony Harrison and then he took on Carlos Ocampo. He knocked out Ocampo in the first round. He knocked out Tony Harrison, I believe in the seventh round or eighth round, don't remember, but he knocked out Tony Harrison as well. And now, He's ready for his opportunity. So obviously Jamel Charlo, he has to settle that difference uh, before the winner of this fight tonight can get their opportunity to fight Jamel Charlo, okay? Uh, so with that said, I just think the punch resistance for Julian J. Rob Williams is not there. I think that Carlos Adamus is, has power. Um, I think his power is gonna be on display. Uh, I think that, you know, he's gonna catch J. Rock in, a, in exchange. And I think he's gonna knock him out in the seventh or eighth round of this fight. Uh, J-Rock was very promising, talented boxer, high ring IQ, uh, big punches, aggressive punches with J-Rock, they get to him. Uh, even Hurd got to him, but Hurd has zero defense, zero defense. And J-Rock is crafty. He has a high ring IQ, he can box, uh, he, he can slip. He's, uh, you know, uh, um, he's very uh, uh, um, elusive and Hurd was predictable. But even in that fight, Hurd was was catching J-Rock. He just couldn't hurt him. He couldn't catch him clean enough and hurt him clean enough. He just was too predictable. Carlos Adamus won't be as predictable tonight and uh, he'll clip J-Rock and I think in the seventh, eighth round, he'll get him out of there. And we'll see him move forward and see what's next for him. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. Excuse me. I mean, that's at middleweight, 160. Uh, uh, I keep putting them at uh, 154. So uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, man. Follow me on Instagram. Like I said, I'm going, man. Peace.